If you are using Cloudflare along with WP Rocket and want to make sure they are synchronized, this video is for you. First off, if you are using Cloudflare, you won't use the CDN tab in WP Rocket. Instead, you should use the WP Rocket Cloudflare add-on. Before actually using the add-on, there are some clarifications to understand before you can use it. First, your Cloudflare account should be already set up and active for your domain. You can follow their support guide if you haven't done this yet. This is very important because WP Rocket's add-on doesn't create the Cloudflare account for you. The add-on will simply keep the cache settings synchronized. Second, if you are using Cloudflare APO, you should know that WP Rocket and APO can only be synchronized with the official Cloudflare plugin. Therefore, in that case, you need to use the official Cloudflare plugin instead of our add-on. And third, you can't use our add-on if you are using Cloudflare through your hosting provider. But no worries. In those cases, hosting providers are the ones in charge of managing the different synchronizations. Once the above is clear and you have checked you can use the Cloudflare add-on, let's find out how to activate and configure it. Go ahead and log into your Cloudflare account, since you will need to find some info there to complete the integration. Now head over to the Add-ons tab in WP Rocket. Toggle the Cloudflare add-on status to on and then click on modify options. Next, you will need to copy some information from your Cloudflare account. First up, your global API key, which is found on your Cloudflare profile on the API tokens page. Under the API keys section, click on the view button for the global API key. For security reasons, a prompt will ask you to enter your Cloudflare password. Once you've entered the password, and you've clicked on the view button, the global API key will be displayed. You can use the click to copy option to copy the key. Then you can paste it into the global API key field in the WP Rockets Cloudflare add-on screen. Your Cloudflare account email is the one you use to log into Cloudflare and the zone ID is specific for each domain. You will find it on the right sidebar in the overview page for your domain in Cloudflare. After saving changes, Cloudflare and WP Rocket will be synchronized. The main purpose of the add-on is to give you some convenient controls without having to leave your WordPress dashboard. Here's what you can do directly from the add-on instead of logging into Cloudflare. Enabling development mode pauses the Cloudflare caching for three hours. This is handy if you need to debug something. Optimal settings is a one-click method to activate some safe and common settings, and we recommend turning this on. It also sets Cloudflare's caching level to standard, and it sets a browser cache expiration of one year to make sure the static assets are cached for enough time. Plus, it deactivates Cloudflare's rocket loader. Despite the name, the feature is unrelated to WP Rocket, and it can cause some problems, so we recommend you turn it off as a precaution. Moving on, the relative protocol setting should only be used if you are using flexible SSL in Cloudflare. It removes the HTTP or HTTPS from all your file URLs to prevent any mixed content warnings. In case you need to, you can override any of these settings anytime by logging into your Cloudflare account itself and adjusting from there. Next up, you should know that WP Rocket add-on will clear the cache automatically if you are using cache everything. If you are not using cache everything, but only the default Cloudflare settings, you will rarely have to clear the cache. However, in case you need to, you can still clear the Cloudflare cache from here. And that's it. Your site should be all set to work with the Cloudflare add-on.